All right, next up tonight, a full case of museum. 2018 Museum Baseball. Case number 22. Auctions. We're all set. CBS. CBS. a box of Ginter from me? What? I don't even have any Ginter. That wasn't me. I don't even have a... When? On eBay? No, I don't sell them on eBay. That wasn't me. <laughs> I don't sell boxes on eBay. Oh, gee. Oh, you mean like back in the old days? Like in prior years? I don't think I've ever sold that on eBay. Yeah, I only sell them on the street near 7-Eleven at midnight. Duvox, you bought a box of Allen and Ginter off me off eBay. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> if it was like four or five years ago, maybe? God, I don't think I've ever sold a box of cars on eBay. I don't know. It's possible. I'm not going to say it's impossible. I, sell, I only sell Pogs and Heritage on the street corner at midnight. First come, first serve. Pogs sell out pretty quick, so you want to get there probably a little bit before midnight, get in line. I usually have a little bit of heritage, is a little slow mover though. The kids, <clears throat> the kids at midnight though with their pogs. Like nothing you've ever seen. Alf pogs, yeah, that's one of my best sellers. <laughs> Alf pogs. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all out of Tomagotchis. I'm sick of trying to keep keep those in stock. Plus, there's all they're always beeping. Tomagotchis. Uh, Cespedes, Hoskins, and Cobb. They're upside down. Oh, that's the hit already. Okay, fine. Everything's upside down. Josh Donaldson and the hit is not upside down. That's nice. An Astros quad. Altuve, Springer, Bregman, and Correa, and they're all still on the Astros, Tim. Saved by the bell, Pog. I'm going to be honest right now. I don't even know what Pogs do. I, th I know they're like, they're a little circular. They're like the size of a quarter, maybe like a half dollar. I don't know what you do with them. Yeah, the one of one bounty still alive, too. What is the point of them? Is it like tiddlywinks? Purple U Darvish. And there's a case hit, and it's Tim Lincecum. What year is this? Well, he's a legend. Highest bidder. I bet you were expecting a Tim Lincecum patch auto. No, I don't know what I don't know what Pogs do. I'm 38 years old. I was like 20 when Pogs came out or something. I didn't. I wasn't playing with those things. When did Pogs? When were Pogs popular? <laughs> you guys are all younger than me. I'm an old man. Ooh, Bryce Harper Camus collection. Posey to 150. Not the one of one. Jacob DeGrom autographed to 299. Early 90s? See, I remember like younger kids having them, and I'm thinking, I was thinking like I'm too cool for that, whenever that was. I'm more like Doc. We're old. We don't know that stuff. Oops. <clears throat> Rizzo. Yachty and Carlos Martinez to 35, dual relic. 94? Okay, I was 14 years old. I was a freshman in high school. I wasn't playing with Pogs, you nerds.
I was listening to Green Day and uh, running cross country with all the babes at that point. Cross country, what a, what a, what's the word? I don't know about your guys' school, but cross country was like a, God, I don't even know what the word is. It was like a secret girl, uh, geez, I'm not good with talking right now. Yeah. But it was a secret. Like all the all the uh, soccer and football players thought they were, you know, they were doing the cool sports where that the girls wanted. Meanwhile, I was running with girls and going on trip weekend trips with girls. They weren't doing that. <laughs> running girls. Uh, Degrom to 150. That was the best. Jonathan Scope Quad Relic to 99. I had the best time. I ran cross country all four years of high school. It was amazing. <laughs> we had our LA trip to Mount Sac, Mount San Antonio College. Got to go to Magic Mountain. Gary Sheffield to 99, dual relic auto. We didn't have water polo at my high school. We were not that cool. We were in a rich, elitist school where Quesley went. We just had things like running. We had two trips every year in cross country. One was to Tahoe for a big race over the weekend. It was amazing. Run into Lake Tahoe and swim. Whit Merrifield the 25 autograph is next for the Royals, Tim. Quesley, you come from elite stock. It's awesome. <laughs> Shuffleboard and all that. We didn't have that. Purple pool holes. And an Eric Hosmer patch to 50 for the Royals. Royals are getting stuff, Tim. No, nothing ever actually happened on any of the cross-country trips. It was just the possibility. Oh, uh, lacrosse. Yeah, the implication. Just the. It was so amazing that nobody was ready for it. Everyone was like, oh yeah, we're going on weekend trips with girls. And all everyone was like, I don't know how to. It's too much. I ran cross country with Trinity in, in uh, seventh grade, but she was a year older than me. And she didn't run cross country in high school, I don't think. I never. I don't remember. I don't remember seeing her in high school one time, even though we went to the same high school. And she was a year older than I am. She is a year older than I am. I don't know why she stopped running. She was good, too. She was also a sprinter. I think she might have done track. Feels like a redemption. It is a redemption. Blue Jackie Robinson. And single player signature. Swatches dual relic autograph. Could it be Tawny? Ozzy Albies. Marby. A one room schoolhouse? <laughs> wow. Yeah. That, they had old buildings in where I'm from, where like in the in the 1800s, where they used to do that. <clears throat> Mattingly, uh, Turner Canal. 
Uh, Bogarts and a Pedroia quad relic to 75 for the Red Sox. Highest bidder. Robles rookie in there. Barry Larkin. JD Davis to 299. Old JJJ. Old Triple J. Seems Astros. I know a lot of you guys hate the auctions, but I don't want to post breaks anymore. I'm tired of trying to figure out what to price teams at. You guys do it for me. Cheaters like uh, all auction team breaks? Oh, great. That's your guys' face. Aaron Judge. Hey, guys, we're going to do all auction team breaks from now on. Oh, oh yeah, that's good. I'll never get my team ever again. Uh, Carlos Gonzalez to 10. That's a nice patch. Tim's Rockies. That is a nice patch. We haven't had a framed auto yet. Some cases have more than one. Let's have one of those cases. <laughs> Omni's gonna do everything. He knows it too. He knows what he's in for. Once Omni gets here, I'm gonna be like, Omni, this chair is uncomfortable. Can you please hold me while I do breaks? You prop my body up. And also move my arms. So I'm too tired. <clears throat> Albies. Upton and Jock Peterson to 25, dual relic auto. Kind of a fat pack. We should just have a bat knob, bat barrel thing. Oh yeah, Adam Jones. I don't want one of them. Oh, it's two hits. That's why. What's going on in here? First, we got the Harmon Killebrew, not the one of one. Jose Canseco to fifty autograph. And. David Ortiz to 99. Quad relic for the Red Sox. Highest bidder. A's. JB. A twin. Hey, we're only four boxes in. There's still eight to go. Plenty of time. DeGrom, Andre Dawson to two ninety nine for the Nationals Deech. Johnson, Harper, and Rivera. Cano to fifty and Josh Harrison patch to thirty five for the Pirates. Bears 197. Four boxes down. Still eight to go. Still haven't had a framed auto. Plenty of delicious museum hits to come. I hope. Origins football up next. Then a little beef basketball, and there's five spots left in that Bowman mixer if anyone wants to do it. Otherwise, we will do that on Wednesday.
Sorry, I have to open the boxes carefully and slowly because my box guy loves museums. And I didn't make Emily do it, so we haven't been able to send him very many. Otani, rookie. David Ortiz, blue. Hoist hit of this box. Kyle Schwab at a 25. I think he hit a home run today. That's not the first time a wife has asked what you're doing, what somebody in this group is doing. Won't be the last. Honus Wagner, Votto, Judge, Bellinger, and Sean Doolittle for the Nationals. Uh, triple Relic Auto, Deech. Robinson, Paul DeYoung to 299. Tim's Cardinals. Purple Ted Williams. And a Daniel Murphy patch to 50. Man, we traded him. Forgot. It's on the Cubs now, right? OJ Howard, yeah. Yep, you guessed it. Bum 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 bum. I have Doors song stuck in my head. You like the Doors, Doc? No one here is old enough to like the Doors. They're freaking awesome. I think Notorious B.O.B. said is one of his favorite bands ever. Freaking Doors. They were good. Wait a minute, Doc probably likes country music, living out there in the... He likes songs that talk about his life, like his truck and his... Whatever. Beer. Fishing, hunting. Blue Sandberg. <clears throat> and Nomar Mazzara, dual relic auto to 175. Texas Rangers. Dante. Yes, that's true. They do have a lot of not good songs. Pink Floyd has more not good songs, in my opinion, than The Doors. Pink Floyd, eh, that's close. They're very similar. And Cole Hamels to 99. Yeah, I don't even, I like like, one Pink Floyd album, and then a couple other songs. Sandberg and Starling Marte to 25 for the Pirates. I had to hear some country music today at my daughter's softball tournament. Credence? <laughs> uh, friggin' Credence. Mike Trout, not the one of one. What's going on back here? David Ortiz. And, oh, a David Price one of one patch. I just better look at that thing. Credence. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say what I really think about Credence. I don't, I'm not in the mood to be mean tonight.
Nah, uh, yeah, they, I mean, I don't hate Credence. They're just... It's just the same. It's like three chords every song. The, the singing is cool, I guess. The singing melodies are good, but, but... Being a guitar player, it's like the most boring thing ever to listen to guitar-wise. If I hear a Creedence song, I'm like, eh, this is okay. But it's not... It's kind of boring, I don't know. Uh, Vado and... Not the one of one. The Very Much Alive... Eh, another one of one for the Trigers. Blue Noser. Al Kaline, one of one. Two one of ones so far in this case. Quad Bat Relic, one of one. Yeah. I feel kind of the same about the Eagles, although the Eagles are had way more interesting guitar stuff, but Don Magnoli to 50. I just never really liked them. Dallas Keuchel to 25. I don't even know why I don't like the Eagles. I can't really... Just Their sound is just... I don't like it. But yeah, they have the highest selling album of all time, don't they? They're like the highest selling band of all time. May he had a two ninety nine. Yeah, it's kind of soft. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of cheating. Greatest hits album to be. You can't just put all your hits on one album and outsell everybody. Cheaters. Uh, Dominic Smith, Triple Relic Auto to 149. REM most overrated. How highly rated is REM, though? I don't really think of them as being that highly rated. I like REM. They're cool. A little boring. For some reason that uh, candle box. For some reason that REM album was it the one with the um, that lion on it, the orange liony thing was like a huge album when I was a freshman. Everybody had that. Monster REM monster. Yeah, it's it's all right. Going back and listening to it now, it's not that good. At the time, somehow it was kind of good. Yachty to ninety nine quad relic. Ten. Really, Hotel California was a B side. Jeez. Somebody over there didn't know how to pick the hits, the singles. Ben and Tendy to 99. Where is the framed auto? There's a nice DD to 149 triple relic auto for the Yankees. Puna Mankata. Uh, They're both the worst. I can't. Don't make me decide which one's worse. They're the, actually the same thing. Equally the worst. <laughs> I, can't, I can't say one is better than the other. Uh, oh, Babe Ruth canvas collection. Not the one of one, I don't think. I'll check. No. Brandon Woodruff to two ninety nine. Desperado. I like that Babe Ruth canvas collection. I don't remember seeing that one. Okay. 
Can we have some framed autos? At least one. And uh, Steven Souza to 50 patch for the Rays. Dante. Despacito, I don't know what that is. Sugar Ray. Sugar Ray slightly better than anything that Fred Durst and Kid Rock did. Slightly. It makes me a little uncomfortable to even say that. Ever so slightly. No, I've never. Well, yeah. That doesn't mean that I like the song. <laughs> Smash Mouth. Those are all the same band. You're just listing the same exact band over and over again with different names. Smash Mouth. <laughs> They all made so much. All of those bands made a lot of money. I don't listen to myself. Rolling, rolling. If any of us had a tenth of the money that they had at one point, maybe they don't have it anymore, but. Stanton and Will Myers Quad Relic. I like Lincoln Park. I'm on record as saying that Lincoln Park was not bad. I actually, and Hybrid Theory was good. I don't care what anyone says. I liked it. I don't listen to it anymore, but I liked it at the time. Correa Purple. And Eric Thames, Dual Relic Auto to 99. He's got the Brewers. Tim. After Hybrid Theory, they just made more albums that sounded like Hybrid Theory that weren't very good, but I liked it. It came out at a perfect time for me. Piazza. Stanton. Was that 2000 or 2001? Reese Hoskins to 299. Marby, your Phillies. Somebody wants something. <laughs> uh, Dexter Fowler to 25. 2000, yeah. 20 years old. Perfect 20 year old music. Hybrid theory. No, I'm not trying to do that today, Hippie. I'm not in that mood. I see you're in douchey for you. <clears throat> I'm not trying to make any enemies tonight. You guys are awesome. I don't want to make anybody mad. I already upset Hippie for the rest of his life. I still feel bad about that. Oh man, I just went back and listened to Incubus Make Yourself, Mikey. When I was on, I was on a long drive and I listened to Inc oh after my sister's wedding, Incubus Make Yourself, some Taproot. Oh, there's a framed auto. I did listen to Hybrid Theory as well. Aerosmith. <laughs> yeah. No. I love Taproot. I, they're terrible. Like, if someone said Taproot sucks, I'd be like, yeah, you're right. But in 2000, they were so good. Uh, Trout to 150. And Aaron Nola to 50. Aaron Nola's good, by the way. He's good. Tap, tap, Taproot it in. Don't tell the pilot's rules. Everybody knows that. Or ruled. 
The second album? Hmm. And Carlos Martinez quad relic to 75. Turnpike Troubadours. Never heard of them. Oh, that's the frame dot. I'll save it. Who <laughs> mistake? Oh, man. Look at that. Chicken Man. Wade Boggs. We have a Garrett Richards patch to 25 for the Angels. Oliver's cards. We need something big in this case. Come on, museum. These people paid good money to see what you had, museum. Stop doing this. Tur churn out some better stuff. Well, we had two one of ones, I guess. The framed auto? Lou Brock, 15 of 15. That's a smart looking framed auto. Tim. Iced Earth. Nice Lou Brock. Stink. I don't even know what what's what songs did Hooba Stank do? Weren't they like on Incubus's coattails trying to get going? They're like friends with them or something. I don't even know. I don't even know their songs. I ignored that band. Crawling in the dark. Crawling in the dark. The wounds that we will not heal. I don't know that song. I'll have to check it out later. And then not listen to it at all. Mancata to 150. David Ortiz, quad relic to 99. <laughs> I know, I'm joking. We were just talking about Lincoln Park. Judge. Ozzy Smith and Ahmed Rosario. Dual Relic Auto to 199 for the Mets. JMBBB. The reason. Some 41. Don't act like you didn't have some 41, the first CD. Big fat. Was it fat lip? Don't try to tell me you didn't have that CD when it came out. You all had it. We all had it. <coughs> Kyle Schwarber. And Wilson Contreras to 50. <laughs> Silver chair. Silver chair ruled. Blink-182 rules. I love Blink-182. Dude Ranch. So good. Yeah, Semisonic rules. I've already told you guys Semisonic is underrated, but you'll never listen to it. It's very lame, but it's good. Ozuna to 99. And Michael Waka patch to 50. That's a nice... Man, Cardinals. Cardinals have anything in this stuff? Yeah, they did. It's basically Dude Ranch and, uh, you know, the other one. And even that one was a little, a little over the top. Semisonic is good. I still listen to that chemistry song. You don't know that song, I bet, but... the Cardinals in this? There's this... Semisonic... Yeah, Enema of the State. That album is super polished. Super overproduced, but it's still really good. It's... It's, it's like uh, Nirvana Nevermind. It's like... Almost too produced, but the songs are good enough to where it doesn't matter.
hold steady. Anyway, Semisonic Chemistry. That Actually, there's a few songs on that album, but I love that song. It's totally dorky. You guys wouldn't like it. <coughs> yeah, he is in the audience. Can we have another framed auto? Come on, this case didn't have much craziness. Only like two one of ones. Trout. Kyle Seeger, quad or a triple relic auto for Seattle. Timlin. Timlin, how are you doing? Man, I haven't seen Timlin for ages. Clemente. And a Cubs quad. By a Schwarber, Russell, and Hap. Fantasy only. We got some stuff. Bloodhound Gang. I don't know Bloodhound Gang or Newfound Glory. I don't know those bands at all. Never tried them out. And Travis Shaw for the Brewers autographed to $2.99. Oh, last pack of the break. Dang. One framed. Altuve to 50, and the last hit is a Dylan Batonsis patch. Cool patch. Put him on Cotter, your Yankees. Well, a couple one of ones. Hold on one second. <clears throat> Let me prepare the one touches. All right, Duvox. Thanks for trying it out. <laughs> Thrice. Yeah, I never got into that either. to come case hit. I'm trying to organize the hit recap for you a little bit anyway. You brought framed auto. Not the best case of using them. I don't know. It's not the worst. I don't think it's the worst case of using. You guys ever listen to Far? Anybody ever listen to Far? That was perfect late nineties. Sacramento music. It's still good. I can still listen to it now. Well, that doesn't really work. So the frame auto was Lou Brock, fifteen of fifteen. The other case hit patch auto Tim Linscombe to fourteen. We had a one of one David Price patch and a one of one Al K line quad bat relic. Deftones. Yeah, they're like Deftones kind of. Whit Merrifield to 25. This is not in any order. Gary Sheffield dual relic auto. Jonathan Scope quad relic. Yachty and Carlos Martinez with a patch. Jacob deGrom autographed to 299. Astros quad relic to 25. That was nice. Dexter Fowler, Reese Hoskins autograph, rookie to 299. Eric Thames, dual jersey auto. Will Myers quad relic, Souza patch, Brandon Woodruff to 299. Didi Gregorius quad or uh, triple relic autograph. Yadi quad relic, Dominic Smith triple relic rookie auto. Mejia to 299 autograph. 
Keiko patch, Marte to 25 autograph, Cole Hamels triple or quadro. Why do I keep saying that? Quads and triples getting mixed up. Pedroia quad relic, Albies redemption, Hosmer patch. Uh, Nomar Mazzara, dual jersey auto. Daniel Murphy patch. Paul DeYoung, rookie auto. Doolittle, triple relic auto. Schwab, a quad relic. Josh Harrison patch. Andre Dawson, autographed to 299. Jose Canseco, autographed to 50. Big Poppy quad relic. Still more. Still haven't hit the one of one base. Jock Peterson, dual jersey auto. Carlos Gonzalez, nice Rockies patch to 10. J.D. Davis, Autograph Rookie, Batonsis Patch, Travis Shaw to 299, Cubs Quad, Kyle Seeger, Triple Jersey Auto, Waka Patch, Contreras Auto to 50, Rosario Rookie Dual Jersey Auto, David Ortiz Quad again, Garrett Richards Patch, Carlos Martinez Quad, Aaron Nola, Dual Jersey Auto. And then we had Red Altuve, Ozuna, Moncada, Trout, Stanton, Correa, Benintendi, Mattingly, Ed Williams, Sandberg, Ortiz, one Otani rookie that I saw. Cano, Jackie Robinson, Pujols, DeGrom, Posey, and Darvish. Color parallels. One of one bounty. Still 